We're going to do an unboxing today. If you're interested in knowing what's in this level 2 Mecha Beauty Loot Box, stay tuned. G'day guys, welcome to Yena Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today I've got a pretty fast video for you. Um, I don't normally get these ones out in time, but I did, and so, hence not looking the best today. Um, please forgive me for that. But I thought that we would do this unboxing of this Mecca Beauty Loop Level 2 box for 2021 in October. I think this might be the second last box for the year, but don't quote me on it. If anyone doesn't know what a Mecca Beauty Loop box is, it's pretty much like a, um, a rewards program for returning customers. And um, I thought that we would unbox this today. It's just going to be a quick video and um, yeah, so let's get started. Right, so I am a level two. That means that I spend a pretty decent amount of money at Mecca. Um, admittedly, I really do like Mecca for multiple of reasons. I like the fact that um, the postage, I can get free postage if I spend I think it's $25. It's really not that much. Not like some of these other places where you need to spend like $50 or more. I find that they have a pretty good um, amount of stores that you can buy from high end, low end, um, you know, just affordable. And um, I just have a really pleasant time, like on the website itself. I have a really, really pleasant time doing it. So last year I was a level one. I did get the level one boxes. Now you do have to spend $25 in order to get this free box, but I don't mind. There's always something that I am willing to buy. And actually, I spent $50 this time, so I picked myself up the Patchology Mood Patches um, perk up. Um, I've tried another version of these through Patchology, so I wanted to try these ones and see if they're any good. And while I was at it, I also picked up this Mario Badescu Glycolic Eye Cream. So I brought those ones with my own money myself, and as a result, I got this Beauty Loop Mecca level two box. So let's get started. Let's just get into it and tell you what I got in my box and whether or not you think it's worth spending the $25 if you're up to level two to get what's in this box. All right, let's go. All right, so the first thing that I do see is this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer Hydrating and Soothing. So this is a 25ml bottle, which I don't think is too bad. I really, really like that. And you know, I've not tried anything from Glow Recipe. So this, I've got to say, I, for me, this box is definitely worth it. I don't know if I'm going to like the watermelon scent. I'm not sure. It sort of depends. I guess I'll let you know in a future video what I think about this. But for me, this box is already worth it. Um, I can't give you the price on what that would be worth, you know. Maybe I'll put it down below if I can find that, but... The next thing in my box is... Oh, it's fallen out. Okay, so um, it's this little thing, and it says the Kiehl's Dermalog Dermalogitist Solutions Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. Um, so this has got two things in here. Uh, let me just pull them both out if I can. There we go. So we have some sort of serum looking thing here and some sort of cream here. So it's a, a dark spot corrector and I don't currently own anything like that. Um, so that'll definitely be interesting. I love, I love getting little samples. So that's definitely a bonus for me. I've not tried it, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Next up we have a, it's a Clinique Lash Power Mascara. You know, I'm not going to complain. I enjoy getting mascaras. Um, I, I love mascaras, but I hate having a ton of mascaras, like full-size mascaras that I'm never going to use. So getting these little uh, samples, I don't mind that. So that's a bonus. I think I might have tried this one, though. I'm not sure. I might have to go back through some of my old videos because I have so many samples that I can't actually remember, unless I write a list of everything that I've used, um, what I've tried and what I haven't. Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it again. <laughs> anyway, cool. And the last thing that is in this box here, the last thing, is this Tom Ford Bitter Peach 2ml Eda Perfume Vapor, Vapor Spray. Alright, so that would be a perfume. Um, God, please be a spray and not a dropper. Yes, good. So it is this little bottle of perfume here. And give me a minute. Hey, I don't hate that. I don't know if I'd call that, is, that doesn't smell like peach to me though, like maybe I've, my senses are wrong, but that doesn't, that doesn't smell like peaches to me, that smells more like, um, 
like something that you would expect from like um mm, I re oh, look it's it really smells like a high-end perfume um i just don't know what notes i would put that that's 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 actually quite lovely i like that oh my mm. God. Mm. Mm, yeah that's good <laughs> Anyway, um, bonus. It's not many uh, perfumes that I actually like or many perfumes that don't give me a headache. So that is interesting. Um, I actually thought I was going to hate that. So you know what, I, I do have to say that I am rather impressed with this box and um, yeah, I don't have any regrets. But like I said, I've always got things at Mecca that I want that are usually affordable and I don't mind spending the $25 um, to get this free box. So um, there's always something that you can pick up that's affordable uh, to get this little bonus. And yeah, um, I hope there's another one towards the end of the year. I think there's still one more. Plus, I mean, it's October, so it's my birthday month. So I should be getting like a birthday reward gift somewhere on the line. Um, I don't have a store to go into though, so I probably have to spend another $25 to get that gift, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, this was the level two box for October in 2021, and I'm glad to be able to get this guy out to you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free, give me a like down there, subscribe if you like for future videos, and uh, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.